Hello and welcome to this first video on the topic of operations research. In this video we will start off the subject by studying about some uh, fundamentals on linear programming. Linear programming or more commonly known as LP is the most prominent of the OR techniques. This is very commonly used OR technique. Now this is designed for models with linear objective and linear constraints so whenever we are preparing an LP model for a given problem we have to keep in mind that the objective that we have should be linear and the constraints that we are dealing with should also be in a linear format now we will be looking at and we will be starting with the topic of uh, linear programming by looking at two variable LP model. Now two, peri uh, two variable uh, problems they are hardly found uh, in the actual world or in, or in actual industrial problems but this is the easiest way to understand and to look at uh, LP problem and how to formulate it. Now we will be dividing this chapter of LP into two parts. The first part uh, we will look at how to formulate an LP. So we will look at the formulation of an LP model. So this is the first part of this chapter. The second part of the chapter will be to look at the solution of LP model. Now solution we will look at in two ways. The first kind of solution we will look at is the graphical solution of an LP model and the second kind of solution we will look at is very commonly known as the simplex method. Okay, So the first video is broadly on the formation of the LP model. The second is dedicated to the graphical solution and the third and uh, videos after that will be concentrated on the simplex method to solve the LP model. Now let us look at a common problem. This is uh, an example of the LP technique now look at this it says a company makes both interior and exterior paints from two raw materials that is m1 and m2 the basic data is given in this table it says that if you want to make exterior paint one ton of exterior paint then raw material m1 is six tons the requirement is six tons and one ton of interior paint requires four tons of raw material M1 and the maximum availability of raw material M1 is 24 tons per day. Similar data can be found for exterior paint when making from raw material M2 and interior paint from raw material M2 and the daily limit is six tons per day. Now if you sell exterior paint, the daily profit is $5,000 per ton and the interior paint profit is $4,000 per ton. There are two uh, market surveys which tell you that the daily demand for interior paint cannot exceed that for exterior paint by one ton. This is one condition that you need to keep in mind. And the second is that the maximum daily demand for interior paint is two tons. Okay, so these are the two conditions we need to keep in mind and but of course the conditions given in this table. We are being asked to find the optimal product mix of interior and exterior paint that maximizes the total daily profit. This is what we need to find out. Now if you explain this question in very simple terms or in the simplest of languages, 
they are asking you to find out how much uh, the manufacturer should produce exterior paint and how much should be interior paint production so that whatever profit you are earning should be the maximum profit okay and one two and the conditions given in this table are your restrictions towards maximizing the profit okay 